Hello, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf, and today I want to talk just a little bit about uh, what we're seeing as far as rainfall in a La Nina year in the southern tiers of the southwestern United States. In a La Nina year, we, we frequently will have lower than normal rainfall in these areas of the country where we have drought through a large portion of the year starting in the spring through the summer. The reason that this is important is because it will impact the water budgets for courses, golf courses and sports fields in this area, area of the country. Uh, what I want to show you is uh, some data that we looked at a number of years ago. It turned out to not be a La Nina year, but it was a low spring rainfall or low winter and spring rainfall year. It was a Santa Ana Country Club, and I'll show you the effect uh, that it had on water use. This is a, a graph of the 2003 data uh, from Santa Ana Country Club, and we'll see a few things on these graphs as we're looking at them. At the bottom, you'll see the portions of the year starting from the first of the year uh, through August, and then uh, up the vertical axis on one side, we'll have the uh, the rainfall in inches, and that will be the solid line going up, and you see the, the steps as you go up in rainfall, and that's the sum of the rainfall through the year, and it gives you the total rainfall all the way on the uh, right side. Now the, the next line that we'll see, the green line going up, that is evapotranspiration uh, estimated from a Simister California Irrigation Management Information System uh, weather station near Santa Ana. And you can see how the water use is going uh, as the dots. So those dots going across the line are the actual water use at the golf course. And in this case, and in 2003, uh, they were running at about 58% of evapotranspiration. So irrigation usage was uh, was good. They had a very uh, good level. You'd expect about 80% of ETO being needed for cool season grasses. And this course is uh, mostly kikuyu grass and poa. So 58% um, of ETO is a, is, a nice, is a nice number. So they did pretty well uh, in 2003. And you can see where the rainfall uh, stopped uh, in April in that area of the uh, of that area of the year, which is typical for uh, this part of the country. So now let's take a look at what happened in 2004. In this case, rainfall stopped earlier so that we had uh, a longer period where we needed to use more water from irrigation rather than from rainfall. If we look at the ET, it looks sort of along the same trend line that we saw in 2003. But now look at the actual water use in 2004. It turns out water use was 75% of evapotranspiration, reference evapotranspiration, compared to 58% that was in 2003, so there's quite a bit more water being used in uh, 2004 compared to 2003, even though the evapotranspirations were about the same. And here, let's put that all on uh, one graph so you can take a look at it. So here we have all that data together. It shows you the 2003 and 2004 numbers uh, with 2004 in red, 2003 in green, and you can see the difference in actual water use uh, on those years, and that is due to the spring rainfall. And when that spring rainfall stops, if it doesn't uh, continue to rain into uh, March and into April, then we can expect to see as much as 15 to 20 percent additional water use over that period between now and uh, into uh, the early August period of the year. So that's the heads up. If this year continues to be dry and we don't get any significant rainfall, or at least if that rainfall doesn't come more uniformly spaced, uh, through the rest of this uh, winter and spring, you can expect to see uh, quite a hit on your irrigation budgets due to that uh, needed water that you're not going to get from rainfall. So just keep an eye out. Uh, as always, if uh, we'd like to encourage you to join PaceSurf if you're not a member, and we hope you enjoyed this video.